bud. Very. You just never know what's gonna be in here. Good morning. All right, thanks, bud. Hey, what's up? I saw that. <laughs> it's got the chrome. Yeah. One I have is just the regular gray. This is a nice one. Yeah, yeah. It's like he has like one little tiny little paint wear right there. But other than that, it's, his arms are loose, but they're all getting loose now. Right, right. But the dome's perfect. But the fact that it has the dome and it's yeah. not cracked, yeah. that's the mouth works perfect. That's beautiful. So he had back attack in there too. He's hard to find. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't know if I had that last time. I don't think so. I might not have. He's hard to find all his pieces though. Right, right. The back, and he has all the hand attachments. Right. Thank you. 
25 on him. Good morning, how are you? Good, yourself? Hanging in there. Awesome. Who do you have searching for today? Well, I'm just coming to see you. That's what I Because, mean. <laughs> remember I bought the monsters yeah. at Toy Hio. Yeah. And so, I'm looking to maybe get into Dragon Riders here. Yeah. Maybe some Clash of the Titans. Oh, I think I got a few Titans left. I sold a bunch of them. Do you want me to pull them out? Um, to pull them out yeah, if I could. You got it. I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Looks like you got Perseus. I do. I think I only got Perseus left, I think. But as a pool, there's two different ones. I don't know if you want to look which one. There's two different of that. I think that's it. I think that's it too. Uh, 
I'll come back around here in a while. All right, sounds good, Sam. Oh, and you got Pegasus. I got Pegasus. And these are all complete too. They have all they their accessories. All yes. He's a really tough one. Does he have a little ding on his nose? Yeah. Just a tiny one. He's the toughest one. It's like Dracula. Paint. Right. Even Dracula. I perfect Dracula, and I was gonna bring it, but I didn't get to clean it. Okay. I mean, he was beautiful. Really? Because he usually has it in the package. Oh yeah. Right. Kind of like the A-wing pilot, you yeah. know, or the the dignitary. Right. I just watched this movie this week, Clash of the Titans. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so good. good. <laughs> oh, nice shape too. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Because this is your line, right? You love oh, Dragon yeah. Riders. So it was upgrade. I always just used to, if I saw them, I just bought them. Right. And you rarely see them complete. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Paints. Yeah. yeah. Like, this one doesn't have the paint app on his eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's That's different. This is the dead one. This is, he's, he's well, it is, <laughs> it is the dead one, right. Just like with the bow here, he, he don't have his eyes. Yeah. Did they make a Koi in Vance? They did. Did they? And the heads are a little different. Okay. You ever find those? Every once in a while, yeah. Okay. I think I might hold off on Pegasus. Yeah. I know it's going to be hard to find white and pristine, but it is. I'll try. Right. Or, you know, yeah. I mean, right. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd definitely be interested in these. Okay. Yeah, let's see what I can do for you. Um, that. What about an even five? Even five. Yeah, I think I could do that. Okay. Yeah. Would might you come, like a bag? Yeah, if you have one, that'd be oh, great. Yeah. I might come back for more. Depending on what I find. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. How are you? Hanging in there? Oh yeah.
I just need to see this. Attention to our customers. It is time for our first raffle drawing of the show. So if you're wearing an orange wristband, yep, pause for this moment. Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. look at the number on your wristband. The winning number is 25730. Again, if you're wearing an orange wristband, and you have the number 25730 on your wristband, you have won Simply Sugar Cookies from simplysugarcookies.com. Come on up to registration to claim your prize. 25730. How you doing? Good, good. Nice tiggy right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're getting harder to find they than they are. Share. They are. Been a while since I had a size drum for sale. Oh. Hey. What's up, buddy? Yeah, not much. How you been? Alright, how are you how are yourself? Real good. Good, good. Real good. What'd you pick up? Wow. Good, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Like not the highest, uh, I see battle. Is that battle beast? Yeah, a couple of battle beasts. Nice. I don't think I had those, so yeah. I got uh, this weird. Very cool. I like that. Yeah, right. I'm not a big transformer guy, but that's weird enough. To, it's kind of odd. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, right there. That dude. Oh yeah. I love the pillow tomatoes. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I uh, just got all three bat or not battle beasts, the uh, inhumanoids, the big monsters. Just got them? Yeah. Here? Yeah. I'm still like reeling from it. I was like, uh, what did I just do? <laughs> I had decomposed growing up, so I was like one of those things that I wanted. He's the coolest one. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that you put like opinion. guys in his chest. Yes, exactly. I mean tendril's cool too, but Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm par all, so. I'm partial to decompose. Okay, okay. you to help me carry it all home <laughs> from the car to the house, please? Well, that would be customer service. That would be customer service. That would be... Uh, I don't need a bag for the figures. Yeah, I got a little bag. Or, or what? Thank you. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we were there. We were rocking and rolling. Were you the greatest Yeah. We were rocking and rolling. We were so busy, you probably couldn't see me from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that, the show was super busy. Hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah. 
All right, guys, and here is the first haul from the Columbus Toy Show. You just saw me pick up the three and three quarter inch lot from Happy Pappy Action Figures. Uh, his name is Clifton, really great dude. So I hope you enjoyed that interaction there. So first off, I got Perseus from the Clash of the Titans line from Mattel. I was really hoping he had the other ones, but apparently he sold them shield there great figure line and there's really only four basic figures Pegasus and then the Kraken which is everybody's uh, kind of grail piece for the Clash of the Titans line if you're collecting it so but I'm happy to find a complete Perseus for the collection and then Dragon Riders of the Sticks I got the entire wave this is the Black Knight complete with sword and shield. So he's in really nice shape. There's a little scuff mark on his shield, but it's not too bad. Seen some, seen some battles back in the day, I guess. There's the Black Knight. And then we have Demon Warrior, everybody's favorite. Look at this guy. He's awesome. I love this figure. It comes with a sword and kind of a mace. And those wings actually detach. You can see I didn't push it in all the way because I was a little nervous that I was going to break the tab. That's a Demon Warrior. And then we have Dragon Man with shield and sword. He's got paint app there on his eyes. I like this figure too. You can kind of see the scaling they attempted to do all over his body and he's in great shape a lot of the times you find him discolored like his body and limbs will be different colors but he's actually pretty consistently the same shade of green very nice and then there is Goulez the ogre another cool figure he comes with a whip and a sword skull pendant there around his neck his horned helmet he is also prone to uh, discoloring but he's uh, it's in great shape great figure and then we have Ragnar the warrior the uh, one of two humans I think in the dragon riders line got his helmet and a sword and I also have his shield, but I'm a little nervous about the shield because I don't want to break it. There's the shield. It is broken there. You can probably see that. So I might try to fix it. I just don't want the whole piece to, to break off, but I'm happy to have the sword. And then we have the wizard. He comes with his wand. And then, which I'm assuming is some sort of magic ball or <laughs> something like that. Um, as you heard in the video, there is a tiny little nick on the tip of his nose. But other than that, he's in really nice shape. And his cape or robe, whatever you want to call it, is also in really good shape. Now, they made two of these. They made the red one here with the purple cape. And then they made a black colored one with a silver cape. He's a lot more rare than, than this one. And then I got the Serpent Rider, which is one of the steeds for the Dragon Riders line. It comes with a rider. I believe it's a wolf type creature, but the vendor did not have the driver. But to find the dragon alone is pretty rare. So, um, and I actually talked to Clifton from Happy Pappy when I bought this from a different vendor, and he said that he's pretty sure he has one of the drivers for this. So hopefully I can go ahead and get that from him pretty soon. And so that's my big lot of Dragon Riders of the Sticks, plus a Perseus.
So there was some talk of some bank, some other stuff. I sold the house. I sold for 560000 I had the whole set at one point, like when I was a kid, and my, my dad bought me the whole workout set, and that's all I got left. <laughs> it's amazing. Some nice wrestlers. Thank you. Just a couple, a couple on the shelf up here if you're looking for the higher ones. <laughs> One of the CML loot stores. Yeah. Remember, these used were these were in dollar stores. That's where I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Back exactly. in the '90s. Yep. Exactly right. I wish I had the Vampiro. Vampiro. Yeah. I wish I had all those stuff. Yeah, I think I still have them on the card. Wrestling was really the first line I started to collect. The Hasbro's. I think for the Hasbro's, I'm too away from a complete set like a Good morning and welcome to CTS Promotions, the Columbus Toy and Game Show. We would like to welcome our celebrities once again, Austin St. John, the Red Ranger, Barbara Goodson, Rita Repulsa, Sandy Sellner as Alpha 5, David J. Fielding as Zordon, Kim Simmons, the man who shot Luke Skywalker, and Mr. Monopoly from the Milton Bradley Games. Welcome to all of our celebrities. They'll be signing autographs and taking pictures until 4 o'clock in the back south corner of our building next to concessions.
stuff that he gives you. Oh, honey, don't make that joke. How you been, man? Good, how are you? Oh, doing great, thanks. Good to see you. Enjoy the see, show? See, you've got a tiger shark for me. Yeah. They're hard to find, man. They are. He complete? No, he's not. No. He's missing the whip and the um, bottom part of the harness for his mask and, and backpack. Okay. But still, I mean, yeah. they're hard to find. That is so cool. You don't have a nails Hasbro, do you? I don't think I so. I didn't see him in there. No, then I don't. This guy down here that has all the Hasbros. That's the like one of the common figures that he's missing. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, dude, I'll walk around if I let if I find one for you, I'll let you know. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Is it the only See Kipper? Yeah, I saw him. Yeah. I, What'd you get so far? Just bought two pigs for myself. Got the wrong one. Okay. Very good. Did you see the Lemkols? Are they here? Are they over there? Or? I haven't seen them yet. Okay. Oh, I got one line, one row to go. <laughs> Big fun too. Really? Green. I can't believe you haven't found a thing. What are you looking two for? Two things. I saw two things. They have a foot of my hands. I'm going to end up having a UTI. And Troy has that uh, Centurion uh, traumatizer 852. Okay. They're, they're, they're almost there. Traumatizers are okay. almost there. Wow. Well, like you can see, like here's. You like, like that, huh? It's nice, man. I love <laughs> the vintage bags. What is it? I that? collect yeah. vintage backpacks. That's cool. <laughs> so like anything from the '90s. So that's like this, a, that's a Wolfpack one, huh? Yep. It's a Taz, Looney Tunes Taz crossover. That's cool. Yeah. I dig that. With tags. Mm -hmm. I I just scored a really odd one. I scored a Power Rangers one. But it's from like the fourth series whenever they first changed to Zia. So it's just like the like I've never seen that. No. I was so geeked to score it. <laughs> she sent me a couple things. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. What are you looking for today? Oh, a little bit of everything. Okay. Looking for Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're hard to find. Yeah. Sure. Simpsons things. Cool. Yeah, I got a couple of those. Ten bucks on those. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so, so the other 12 inch figures there, there's a Vader, and I guess they did have a crew, like Vader, Stormtrooper, I think that was the loop, can't see what the other one was. Oh, the R2-D2, oh, the Slice Noodles, Rebo Man was sealed, a couple of the mini rigs, Fly Interceptor, Battle Damage X-Wing. I think that's the only pictures I've got of it. Yeah, shoot me a uh, shoot me an email because uh, on my card if you're second looking for it, I'll dig through and see if I got it. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Great to see you in the Yeah, I'll try to be there. Might be a different Yeah. 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 I think I bought your Tomb of Doom last year. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. At Columbus. That's a sweet piece for sure. I don't have any Clash of the Titans, do you? Just a few loose figures in here. So I've got like the main guy, and I think I've got the demo somewhere. But nothing significant. No accessories. No, no unfortunately not. Barnyard Commando. Oh, there are. Mm -hmm. That's 
ask him about it. Good, how are you? Our show may as well be interesting. All right. Who are you videoing for, for your, for your show? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Rees Retro Toys on, okay. on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the Star Wars alien, Rees with the three okay. eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I yeah. think that's good. Yeah. I like that. Rees Retro nice. Toys, so. Do all like the toy hunts and the toy shows. I go to toy stores. Okay. Film toy collections right. if people allow me. Okay. Yeah, so. Well. It's a lot of fun. We need you at our show. Hey, you that sounds come, good. You want to come Saturday? We'll have to set up on Saturday between 2 and 6. Come in the afternoon sometime. That'd be great. We'll be there all day. Just come in the building and... Set, set, up, set up for video is ideal. Yeah. I like the logo, video. too. Thank you, thank you. Very that cool was, logo. Uh, my craziness. <laughs> we had a logo we were working with. It wasn't too exciting. And all things, and I'm not kidding. I was in the shower. I'm like, it was like a light bulb. Yeah, I was like... It was retro. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was fun. So that's awesome. Had to do it. I like it a lot. And you're committed too. I mean, oh, you've got embroidered, sh embroidered shirts now, so. We use it
Fight riot mask. <laughs> And this is the rest of my haul from the Columbus show. I picked up three of the A-Team bad guys. This is from Galoob. And this one is Rattler. And you can see that he has purple sleeves. He has a weapon there. He also came with additional weapons. And then this is the other Rattler variant with the yellowish sleeves. They made various different um, paint apps on these bad guys, as well as the core A-Team members. And then here is Viper from the bad guys. They made four bad guys, and they all had snake names. Here's Rattler and Viper. And then they also made Python and Cobra. So I'm hoping to track those down soon to complete 18 bad guys. Another one of the accessories. And then I picked up an, a really cheap Adam Power from the Power Lords. He was, I think I got him for maybe $3. The guy had three for 10. So I picked up some D&D uh, &D as well as this Power Lord. I was like, I can't leave Adam Power there for three bucks. And he's in pretty good shape too. So I was happy to find him. I mean, I already have him, but what the heck. And then I got the Troglodyte TSR Advanced D&D &D figure. This is the non-posable kind. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that he was missing his ax. So he had an ax in that hand and it's broken off. And this is just a one piece of plastic, so it's long gone. Um, but still, you know, he's a pretty hefty character here, the troglodyte. And then I got some DC Comics superheroes from Toy Biz, 1989. Here's the Riddler. And what prompted me to get these is that I was, you know, I'm a kid from 89, right? The, the Batman uh, movie that came out in 89. And so Toy Biz had the license and released a lot of these figures. So will I eventually get into the Superpowers line, the original one? Possibly. But for now, I'm happy tracking down the 89 and 90 versions from Toy Biz. And then I got Robin. Go with Batman. And this was also sparked because I just got a Bat Cave, the Toy Biz Bat Cave from Dini Collectibles here a couple weeks ago. And then Catwoman. Now this is Kenner from Batman Returns, 1991. She doesn't have her rocket launcher or grappling hook launcher, but she does have her whip, Catwoman. And then also released with the 89 Batman movie, Bob the Goon. And he has a really nice logo there, the Joko emblem there on his chest. And he also has his hat. No gun, but hat. So I got those for pretty cheap as well. So there was my other haul. So that's it guys. That was the Columbus Toy Show from March 17th, 2024. And for those of you who are wondering what Chad picked up, um, he actually picked up a carded advanced Dungeons and Dragons Hawkler figure. It was uh, in the toy department case. So he was very excited to add that to his D&D collection. Um, he also picked up a couple of Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates figures and some space vehicles from the Adventure People line from, I think, like the late 70s, early 80s, those things came out. So Chad had a good day as well. I also hope you guys enjoyed the GoPro footage at this show. This was the very first time that I used it in a show setting, and I wanted to 
show a little bit more interaction with the vendors and I'm really not one to hold a camera right in front of their face while I'm speaking to them. <laughs> so this is a little bit more of a subtle way to capture those moments um, when I'm dealing with a vendor. Um, I know the sound was a little muffled at times. I'm not quite sure what the cause of that was. Um, so I'll try to work on that. But let me know in the comments if you enjoy having the GoPro footage in there or if you think I should just stick to my phone regular footage and call it a day. I personally think it makes a little cool personal experience um, and adds a little bit more to the video. But if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching guys. Keep on hunting.